Hi there folks, as you can see I'm currently booted into my Windows operating system. As you can tell I'm running Windows 10 on this particular machine. Now what I am doing here today, I am going to discuss my my Cooler Master CM Strong Devastator keyboard with the red backlight. As you can see, if you toggle the scroll switch, rather the scroll lock, button, it turns the red backlighting off and on. Now what we're going to do here today is we're going to see what happens when we try and toggle the LED backlighting in and uh, what's it called? Xorg. An Xorg environment. Alright, so just pause the video here and we will come back in a moment. So we're back. I have booted into my uh, ever classy, or rather into my OpenBSD current environment, running Xorg, which is of course running the ever classy, which, I meant, which is what I meant to say, the ever classy Spectrum Window Manager. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to, I'm going to start up uh, an Xterm here. I have to do this with one hand because I'm, I'm shooting this picture with my phone and I have to hit the right key board strokes here in order to get my extra. Ah, there we go, I did it. Alright, so I'm just popping that open for a moment. What I want to do primarily here is show you how by default OpenBSD in the Xorg environment does not let you turn on the red backlighting by hitting the scroll lock key on the keyboard. But I want to show you something interesting. If I go into a virtual terminal, right, I get out of Xorg and into a virtual terminal, I hit the scroll lock key, I suddenly have backlighting. Like I did in Windows. But I don't want to be in a virtual term, which is fine. I don't mind the virtual term, but I want to use my my um, my Xorg environment to use certain applications that I cannot use in a virtual term. But I want a, the ability to toggle on and off my LED keyboard. Well, let's get back into the uh, Xorg desktop here. Back in the spectrum. All right. So what it is, and I will show this again in when I go into the Linux desktop here, uh, the Linux environment, is I think Xorg is not, or rather Xorg is doing something that Windows is not doing. Rather the yeah Xorg is, because because OpenBSD in a virtual term will allow the red light to toggle but it does not allow it to toggle in under Xorg. So I'm going to show you a little thing I have going here. Oh, no, I don't have a history here. So again, I have to try and juggle. Uh, I'm going to open up my X session, my editor. As you can see, check out this line here. This line right here. Okay, I put this line in. I am invoking Xmod. I don't know if you can see that. Let's get you a little bit closer. Oh, come on, focus. There we are. I'm I'm invoking Xmod map, which comes with every, uh, as far as I'm aware, distribution of Xorg, and it allows you to modify your keyboard mappings. So what this does here, it assigns um, the mod 3 mapping to the scroll lock key, allowing your scroll lock key to modify whatever, whatever is attached to mod 3. Okay, so what I'm going to do, oh come on focus you, it's kind of small so it's hard to see. What I plan to do here is I'm going to uncomment that line. 
And of course I'm going to save it. And we're going to log out. And Yep. Ah. She trying to do type with one hand is not hard. It's not easy rather. All right. I'm going to put this down for a moment here, folks. You can't see my password at all or anything because Unix doesn't echo, but I'm still putting this down. So just give me a moment. I'm going to pause briefly. Sorry about that. I just needed both hands to type my password. So let's try and open up that. No, let's not try to open up that term. Well, we'll open up that term. Let's do that because I want to show you that I did indeed uncomment that. And cat accession. Okay. And as you can see, it's un uncommented now. Now, with that uncommented, we should be able to turn our LED backlighting off and on at will. Isn't that rather neat? Now, presumably, if I didn't want to have this recurring between reboots or logins, I could have simply entered it the command in at the uh, command line. So you would just take that same line there. Again, let me try and highlight it. Xmod map dash E add. Oh, come on. Focus. I promise I'll put the uh, command line in the description box if I can ever focus. There we are. X mod map E dash E um, quotation mark add mod three equals scroll lock close quotation mark. And I proceed that with a sudo or I do as or whatever your environment is for elevating privileges temporarily to run a command. All right. So this is how you do it or how you can do it in an open BSD environment running xorg. Now I'm going to reboot into my Linux environment and we will be right back. So now we are in my uh, Linux partition or Linux drive. Uh, this is SteamOS running on Debian Wheezy. And I'm going to show you the same thing. Now I won't go through the process of showing you what I did before there with the um, oops one next term what I did in OpenBSD but what I, what I want to show you is that I have a similar command I'm running it in the dot session RC file oh come on this phone has such a hard time focusing you gotta force it to focus let's just catonicate that oops all right, type on that hand again. I want RC. As you can see, I have I had to use the same command line. X mod map dash e quotation mark add mod three equals scroll lock close quotation close quotation mark in order to uh, add the LCD backlighting feature when I'm running an XORG environment. And again, the backlighting feature works fine in a virtual term. Uh, well, that's, oh, wrong button. <laughs> Almost made a liar of myself there, hitting the wrong button, but the scroll lock key is what turns it off and on. So yeah, this tells me that there is something in, oh, where is it now? In xorg that is uh, 
not doing what Windows is doing or doing something that Windows is not doing. Some sort of key mapping XOR performs on the scroll out key. That is not what the keyboard expects. The keyboard probably ex probably expects some sort of window Windows based key mapping naturally enough. But instead XOR does its own thing. But fortunately, you can tell XORG to use the same key mappings that Window would use for that particular scroll, uh, that particular key, and you can have your your feature of turning the the uh, LED backlighting on your keyboard off and on using the scroll out key. So I will put the command in the um, in the description below, and there are other ways of doing this, but this is just one way of doing it. So yeah, feel free to comment and let me know if this helped you out at all and what you may be doing to uh, alleviate your particular problem with keyboards not turning on their backlighting under, under an XORG environment such as you find in a BSD or Linux uh, operating system. Alright, thank you very much. Bye bye.